you've had an inversion ankle sprain, so we don't want that motion to happen. Um, and it's also going to prevent a little bit of plantar flexion with inversion, okay? So first off, I would normally spray the ankle with a little sticky stuff that's going to help the tape job to stick a little bit more. Normally, too, we would shave with the guys an area that we're going to be able to attach the tape right to the skin so it gives the most support. Um, there's some lube on this, and I like to put them triangular so you make sure that you get as much of that tendon as you possibly can, kind of like the diamond shape. Same thing on the Achilles tendon underneath. Uh, once that's got its little sticky on, I'm going to now make sure as you roll the Pro Wrap off that it easily rolls on to the ankle. Right now, you don't, it doesn't really matter what direction you're doing the Pro Wrap, and it's more so just to make sure that you don't get any wrinkles. I am going to anchor a little bit down just to give support, so I apologize now because when we take that off you might feel a little bit of a pull, like a band-aid. Alright, so when we start this off, you got to make sure that you give a good anchor at the top so that you get that hair rip off. Make sure that you're not using the patient's leg to rip off, which would be like doing that, so always use your own thumbs and pull away. Um, so two to three anchors at the top, depending on the size of the foot, and then one anchor at the bottom. As you come around on this anchor, just flail the feet a little bit, give a little bit of a, an arch there, and come around and stick that down. All right, so now what we're going to do is we've got to try to move everything into uh, eversion, so take it away from inversion. So we're going to start centrally on the medial side, coming over the medial malleolus, Underneath the base of the heel, not in the arch, should match you up perfectly to come over the lateral malleolus. And then you're gonna tape that off. Normally you could, if you wanted, if you had a lot of tape and lots of money, then you're gonna anchor each one of these. I'm gonna try to save us on the tape. When I come around to the next one, I'm slightly anterior on that medial side from the first tape job, but almost matching right over as I come underneath. And then I'm gonna come slightly posteriorly. Okay, and then Make sure that you mold that in as you go. Coming back again for the third stirrup, I'm going to be slightly posteriorly. So it's fanning at the top, and basically what happens is when you fan at the top, when I cross over and come central down to the bottom, you're going to see that anywhere where there's a crossing over of tape makes the most amount of strength in the tape drop. So it's giving that extra bit of support over the ankle joint, okay? And then that would mean I would come slightly uh, anteriorly on the lateral side. Now I'm going to anchor these down well and basically close this in as best as I can as I come down the joint. This exercise ball is not recommended to be used because you can see that it's moving the patient around <laughs> trying to use a solid table. And again here it doesn't really matter if I'm starting lateral or medial side. And I'm going to try to come down as low as I can around those ankle bones, around the malleoli. But I don't want to get right down at the base of the heel so much and I don't want to really irritate that area. It's This is not a, an important part of the calcaneus. So that's okay to have that window there. So now I'm just going to come across the top and close this off here this way. And you can see, each time I come around, I'm overlapping by half the tape drop from one to the next. All right, looking pretty so far. You can see we've got windows underneath the bottom here, but all that's going to get closed in when we start to do the heel lace and uh, figure eights. So that's the next part, and it really is the most important part of this tape job. When you're trying to prevent inversion, then you're going to make sure you start on that lateral malleolus. You're going to come over the top of the foot around underneath the bottom of the foot, back over the top, and around behind the Achilles tendon, back to the lateral malleolus. So there you can see that figure eight pattern. Come back over the top, try to keep this motion all going in one if you can. If you can't, you can rip off and start again into the heel lace. So over the top, I've come under the arch again, but this time I'm coming up in a 45 degree angle, and I'm tugging that tape drop, so I'm pulling him into that E version, coming around, back over the top, I will say that this tape is a little bit frustrating to work with. And then 45 degree angle on the other side, and then come back over. 
normally you want to try to reduce as many wrinkles as you possibly can. Okay, so same thing. We're going to do two figure eights and heel laces. So back around in that figure eight pattern. And then we're going to come into that heel lace again, pulling up on that 45 degree angle around the heel bone, medially around back over the top towards the back, 45 degree angle up and on the back, and then back over the top and break it off. Look around for any possible windows. This little bit of a window down here is just from where we've anchored it. We've got enough security here, but if you want to close that off, you can anchor that down one more time. And just make sure that you've got no windows showing to compromise the tape job. All right, mold that all in. Make sure that his fingers aren't going, or his fingers, his toes aren't going blue. Relax that foot for me if you can. And then just give it a little bit of tension and look to see if you've got enough stability that's happening within that tape job. All right, how's that feel? That's good. You then have the patient sort of jump around and work it out for about five or ten minutes before the sport, and then it should be ready and just pliable enough to go. Okay? When you take this tape job off, if you have a shark, it really is the best way to get through the tape job. You're going to come in from the medial aspect. You're going to come underneath the arch and use the flat side. Take a little bit of lube and put it on that flat side so it slides through nicely. <clears throat> Coming in underneath, immediately that, that shark is going to start to cut. I'm going to come in behind the medial malleolus and then I'm going to come up. <laughs> and that's the part that hurts when I have to get to that hairy part, sorry. <laughs> um, Alright, so as I pull this off, do that first part really quick. <laughs> And there you go.